playing well again. How old are you? I'm very old. <laughs> For the tennis. 32. 32. But you're playing, you're back. I mean, in a big way. Last year you sort of re-announced yourself and you're having, a good, you're having a good time this year. Did something change or did, did you just, when things weren't going well, did you just say, no, no, I still have a lot of good tennis in me? What was it? Uh, when I was like about rank like 20 in the world, I was looking at players who were in top 10 and I'm like, I can beat these players, I can be there as well. So that was kind of giving me belief and I knew I could be there, but some small things, small details just was not going together, they were not clicking. And some stage I started winning more matches and getting more and more confidence. And there I look back and I was again in top 10 and it was great. And I feel like I'm playing great. I feel great. I really love to do what I do. And I really enjoy that. So have, has your idea of what the ideal tennis age is, ha has it changed? I mean, you see so many players now in, into the 30s and we like feel fresh, kind of like, not like 20s, but we still feel matured and uh, healthy and working out a lot and very consistent. I think it's very important. I think it's great for the game. It is. And it's always good to have you around. Um, how much has all these years of experience helped you get to where you are right now? In your game, it helped me a lot because the uh, situation I face along the year I've been before, and I know how they can resolve, and I know you can go through even difficult moments. You still know what to do. It just takes time, but um, to be c m more, uh, to have more patience, and uh, also feel for the game. Know that you can turn things around really quick in the game. Today you lost, tomorrow you can win a an event. So you never know. After four hours and 44 minutes, and this set alone, three hours duration. Got it, this time, unbelievably. Francesca Schiavone, the great survivor of this contest. The two players embrace I think they have to do that to hold each other up because they can't have any strength left. When you've played some of the most dramatically long matches in the and last I lost couple most of them. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to bring that up. <laughs> but it's the truth. It's the truth. Which, which one, which, I mean, you have had like the Australian Open one, French Four hours, 44 minutes. I had five or six match points and I lost them. For, for French Open, four hours. And I had match points and I lost that one. But Hey, it didn't bring me down. I still beat her next times and I still playing great and that happens. That's a game. But that's, that's what I mean. That you must be able to draw upon all of that in your 33rd year on earth. I mean, there you must know, be an advantage to that. Like you can walk off that court and everyone you've shown everybody what you've still got. You know? Yes, it's positive thing, but I'm really uh, hard on myself and I really get down, beat myself down, which I shouldn't do, but I'm hard on myself. Probably this is part of why I'm playing and why I have passion for the game, because I still want it badly. Can you think after all these years that your best tennis is still ahead of you? I can. I can, and I know cool I can that? do that. I know I can do that. Uh, I just wish sometimes to skip some weeks and be more fresh and get some matches. It's very hard to balance, to be fresh and also skip some uh, tournaments and have some game. You see, because you need always to have matches, but also want to be fresh. So this is my dilemma right now. Taking a lot of time here, Skuznetsova still with two championship points, 40-15. Svetlana Kuznetsova is the 2004 U.S. Open champion. 16, How much did winning the U.S. Open change your life? You see, now I know that when you're 30, when you're over probably 27, 28, you start to value what you've done in the past because while you're a teenager and you win a slam, you don't know what you're achieving. You have no clue up to 23, 24 that you won a slam. I was like, yeah, yeah, I did that. It's great. It's not. It's like the best thing you could ever done in tennis, basically. And it's, it's great. 
10 years ago, you got to another US Open final. And until Jacine Enna stopped you. I mean, there must be something about New York that lights you up. I love, I love the crowd. I still remember, if you would ask me what I would remember about the final I won, I remember two things. One, which is the ace for match point from second serve. But one, like emotionals, I remember I was hitting that forehand and it was so quiet and I would hit really hard and the crowd goes, whoa. And this night stadium, 25,000 to be quiet and just make this, whoa, the boo would be so, so amazing to feel. Like, I still feel ghost bombs almost every time I think of it. What a nice thing. You're going to have that for the rest of your life. Yeah, I mean, it's great. I love New York. It's great atmosphere. I think fans are different. They're, they're kind of more crazy, more enthusiastic. They're like kind of running, running, running. And you find yourself that you're also running, running. And you come down, come down. It's just... You're talking you about my quiet. people. <laughs> That's how we are. No, it's great. How was getting to Wim Wimbledon quarters, by the way? It was great. <laughs> Uh, it, it surprised me. You see, I play for so many years and I find still surprises in the life, in the tennis life. Uh, this year I felt way better on Wimbledon and French Open. That's on the uh, grass court than clay. It's, I felt so good. I, I missed some opportunities in these quarters, but I could have seen myself going more forward. And even the draw if would play a little bit differently to me. But still, I mean, I enjoy every bit, every match of that. I really had the confidence, I really knew what I was doing and on the grass, which is really great. It was nice to see. It was a nice run. I really enjoyed it. Are you happy with the length of your hair right now, or could we perhaps see a haircut <laughs> at the U.S. Open? It's still one of the iconic moments of last <laughs> year, you know. There are some uh, excellent barbers in Singapore. But we've just seen a Svetlana Kuznetsova <laughs> decide to cut her own hair. Why, what got you so aggravated? So it's 4-1. Who are you playing? Radwanska. So you're playing Aga Radwanska. It's the year-end championships. It's kind of a big deal. You have a bad start. You sit down. Do you always have scissors in your like? What? Okay, I was five weeks in a row playing tournaments trying to qualify for the championships, and I've been in Moscow and I did some um, cornrows around my hair. So because the ponytail was extremely long, and when I was serving, it was going to my to my eyes. Yes. So I would hit the serve and would hit my eyes, and for a couple of seconds, I'm like trying to figure out where the ball is. So I got mad, and I'm saying, I'm. Playing the most important tournament I was fighting for this whole year, and I want to do my best here, and this is bothering me. So what's the problem? Just take out whatever bother is. So I'm not gonna wait the match and lose that important match. And you see, it was worth it. I first time out of my life I made it to the semis. So there you go. Group, so. Yeah. so maybe you can, you know, think about <laughs> a, a career in, you know, hairstyling after well, it's all. I'll it's see all. that. The biggest story of the tennis year, it could be men, it could be women, the biggest story of the tennis year so far has been what? I'm a fan of Roger, you know. He's like the greatest of all the time. He, he can do that. And for me, uh, to see him proving it and doing this this way was amazing. And I'm really happy for Roger. He's doing so well. And second, for sure, it's Serena having a baby. <laughs> but I mean... Did you see that coming? Uh, not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> but I'm so happy for her. Do you want her to come back and play? Yes, and I'm sure she will. Because I heard so many people say she won, but talking to her sometimes, I know that she will. She's going to be back. Yes, yes, that's great for the game. So are you. Thank you. And it is.